it's not just folks who are out of town. Paul McKee lives here. Now he doesn't live in the city. He goes and he lives out in the county while he lets all these properties sit vacant and lets them rot. Since I've been teaching, for more than 10 years since I've been teaching, the properties around Lexington Elementary have been caving in because of that guy. And that guy has bought himself an attorney general. He took $43 million in tax credits, our money, to redevelop these places. You notice anything different? Our attorney general at the time, Josh Hawley, sued this guy. And then a new attorney general came in who just so happened to take a bunch of money from Paul McKee and Paul McKee's sons and Paul McKee's attorneys and Paul McKee's corporations. And then within six months, he settles a $43 million potential claim for $323,000. And then he donated dark money to the attorney general. The only reason we know he donated money was because when an investigative reporter asked, where did this money come from? And he saw that this EC1 fund, LLC, whatever the heck it was called, had donated to a state senator in Nixa and called them and said, do you know who this is? He said, well, give me a second. Then he gets back on the phone. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got a thank you letter for him right here. That's Joe, Joe McKee. The only reason that we know that he took money from these people is because a state senator made a mistake. With dark money, the donor sure knows where that money's coming from because it's their money. The recipient, candidate, or elected official sure knows where it's coming from. They write them thank you cards, but the public has no idea. So not only are we going to go after these folks who are scamming Missourians, but we're going to go after these dark money groups too. They need to get out of the state.